Hey guys, welcome to a new exciting tutorial about DaVinci Resolve. If it's your first time here on my channel and you want to learn how to use DaVinci Resolve and create some exciting special effects, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Today we are going to create an earthquake effect. Let's get started. In my media pool I have four different clips. I have the background image and I have the ground flow and I have the sound effect and my timeline. I add the background image to my timeline and adjust the size a little bit. You can change the size using the transformation tool. I add the sound effect under the background image. I'm looking for the position where we can hear the ground movements very well. Near this position I place the blow effect of the background image. Next I move the blow effect a little down, so that it looks more realistic. Here I change the duration of the background image. We no longer need the transformation tool, so I'm deactivating it. Ok, next we add the adjustment clip, which is a new feature of DaVinci Resolve 16. I have created a tutorial about this, you can find it in the description below. In effects you find the adjustment clip and I drag it onto my timeline. In the OpenFX section you will find the camera shaker effect which I drag onto the adjustment clip. And here it is, the first camera shaker effect. Next I want to add a keyframe to the camera shaker so that the camera starts shaking when we can hear the ground moving. To do this I open the OpenFX tab in the inspector. For the first frame I reduce the speed scale so that the camera doesn't move. Next I move the player to the position where we can hear the ground movements. Here I add the first keyframe. The pan amplitude affects how big the shake is horizontally and the tilt amplitude affects how big the shake is vertically. The PTR speed affects the camera shake speed. Ok, let's add some keyframes. I move the playhead near to the end of the clip. And now I increase the individual property values of the camera shaker. Here we see a black border caused by the camera movements. To fix this we increase the zoom to crop property. That's it! I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and if you want to see more give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye!